Well, hey kids, it's your old grandpa coming to you here once again from the old Rocky Mountain High. Opening of the heart, the consciousness of all that is. And that's what we're here to share on sharings too, because everything that we share points back to the opening of the heart. It's a great idea to use the opportunity of life itself to explore our passions. No yes, I've spent a lot of time working through acceptance, acceptance for what is exactly the way it is. Because I came to realize that it was my resistance that was allowing these different elements within me to really control who I was. It's a journey of self-discovery. But this self-discovery it lies in each of us, the potential that each of us have within us. So that we can actually be on this planet and be able to experience and allow our mind to experience what it's like to be a human. Even the ancient people knew about this, like Jesus and Buddha. And yeah, boom, <laughs> the universe just went, oh yeah, you think so? And when I say the universe, I mean me. We are the universe. Being, being the architect of your destiny. <laughs> Synchronicity such as this is a reminder saying, look, you and I are one. It reminds you that you are on the path to unity and oneness. It reminds you that you are a powerful spiritual being that is spiritually connected with the source of creation. What you need be the best mom, be the best grandma, be the most loving angel to yourself and nourish yourself. Yes. Get up. I'm going to eat some breakfast and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to change the world. I'm going to make it a better place. What can I do today to make it a better place? What can I do? My real passion is to awaken the divine blueprint of a living light through ecstatic song and chant. Synchronicity is defined as amazing or convenient coincidences that seem so incredibly unlikely that they appear to be orchestrated by divine spiritual forces. Ironically, this is exactly what synchronicity is in real life. The idea of strictly random chance or coincidence comes purely from an old, limited, unenlightened, separation-based scientific model of the world that excludes the possibility of an intelligent, all-seeing, all-organizing divine force of God or nature. If we were raised with and indoctrinated into this limited view of reality, then we can so easily stay stuck in the perspective and either miss synchronicities or have a tough time believing they are real or possible. We may even worry about being a bit crazy if we start to look for patterns of connection within our reality. Relax and know that it is completely safe and sane to notice synchronicity in your life. If we invite our higher spirit to communicate and interact with us through synchronicity and welcome it and thank it for appearing when it does, it will then open up the door to more and more synchronicity and direct interaction with our higher self spirit. If we ignore, dismiss or disbelieve the visitor of synchronicity, the visitor will become less and less likely to appear. It is important to be open to and notice synchronicity when it does appear to us. It is one of the primary ways that the higher part of ourselves communicates and relays signs and information relating to our path. One of the most common synchronicities people are noticing more and more often these days is the number 11. Often when they just happen to look at the clock and see 1111 or 111. Synchronicity such as this is a reminder saying, look, you and I are one. It reminds you that you are on the path to unity and oneness. It reminds you that you are a powerful spiritual being that is spiritually connected with the source of creation. Synchronicity can feel magical and exciting, which pushes you further down the path of spiritual belief, 
self-realization, and mastery with the Law of Attraction. It is important to simply notice synchronicity when it happens, but not to obsessively seek it out. If you are meant to see it, it will appear in a way that lets you notice. Synchronicity is a method of direct communication to you from higher spirit, but it is a language that you must figure out for yourself. Everyone has their own unique language of interaction with their higher spirit and their own unique understanding of what their synchronicities mean to them. As you develop your spiritual awareness for synchronicity more and more, you will notice it appearing in more unusual and unlikely places. You might be thinking of a person and then they phone you in the next moment. You might be thinking of a song and then it plays next on the radio. You might be thinking or talking about an idea and then suddenly you hear someone talking about it nearby the next instant. Metaphors are one of the powerful ways spirit might relay information. You might have a question or concern that seems to be directly answered metaphorically by something you see or hear on television or even by a coincidentally relevant news headline or billboard. There really is no limit to the kind, quality, degree or quantity of synchronicity that can be unleashed once you embark upon the path of following it. If you genuinely follow the more radical techniques mentioned in this book's chapter about unity consciousness, you will likely notice a significant increase in synchronicity because synchronicity is inherent to the reality of unity consciousness. In fact, each time you shift into unity consciousness, a synchronicity may appear from higher spirit to confirm that you're on the right track. Any obvious, significant synchronicities you notice could certainly be coming to you directly from higher spirit, and it is safe to take note of them and drop the concern that you might be crazy for believing in it. The key is to not obsessively seek it out or overanalyze possible meaning, but to just let go, allow it to happen, and just be aware enough to casually notice them. It might be best not to tell others about it if they will only discount your experiences and try to drag you back to the limited, mundane, scientific perspective of separation consciousness. Since many of us have had our current belief system deeply programmed by our past upbringing, it is common to be weak in the area of noticing and keeping track of synchronicities and successful occurrences with our experiences of our direct connection to higher spirit, divine alignments, and the law of attraction. It is also helpful and important to keep track of instances that support our new belief that everything happens for a reason. For example, when seemingly negative things end up pushing us in a direction that creates a positive, unexpected result. Start now by building a list of events that you have experienced that reinforce your belief that the law of attraction is real and that you are connecting to spirit through noticing and working with synchronistic cues. As you move forward, add to this list by recording each event that clearly demonstrates how your new energy shifts are creating new resulting events in your external reality. If you create a powerfully positive, out of the blue lucky result, be sure to add that to your success list, as well as to your daily appreciation list. Appreciation can trigger manifestations of success, and we can keep adding our new spiritual successes to our growing list to endlessly amplify our appreciation. Asking the question, how can it get any better than this, will also serve to amplify our appreciation and openness to greater luck when viewing this list. Make reviewing and adding to your list a daily practice. This will dramatically support and grow the spiritual part of your brain and your third eye, as well as your connection and trust in higher spirit. When you eventually get to the point where you have so much sheer, raw evidence for yourself that everything does and did happen for a higher purpose, you will then gain the deepest trust in life itself. This is the path to the greatest peace, where you can completely let go of worries and concerns, since you know that you are always fully and completely supported by your higher self, no matter how things appear on the surface. Thank you for listening. I hope this information helps you along your path to spiritual awakening, spiritual understanding, and self-mastery. Perhaps we'll connect in the future. Take care. Brad Stevens.
understand the concept of love. Na -na 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 Yeah.